from the University of Guelph. We will be discussing two of our three projects today, both of which are concentrated around food sustainability, as we are an agricultural town and school. We value not only sustainability, but agricultural sustainability. And we have decided to concentrate our projects on this as we believe that our values as a team and our values that are demonstrated by our, by our projects should, should mirror the values of our school and our city. So our first project is Kind Hive. 15,000 tons of greenhouse gas emissions would be diverted every year on Halloween by switching to beeswax candles. This is equivalent to 3,000 cars carbon dioxide emissions in just one year. These candles not only release soot and carbon dioxide, but they also have negative health impacts and they release carcinogens. So we took on this challenge by collecting beeswax that would ordinarily be thrown out and creating lip balms, reusable beeswax food wrap, and self-care kits to concentrate more on mental health aspects because we know that this is a huge issue um, today. So speaking of mental health, we decided to create scented candles that are um, focused on a different self-care um, self principles. For example, peppermint is, um, is very well known for enhancing focus and waking up your mind, whereas apple controls anxiety and lavender relaxes the mind and body. So we decided to create these scents to promote um, not only the um, agricultural impact that we want to make, but also the mental health impact that we are aiming to strive for as well. So in 2021, we kind of revamped our business model. So of course, our here are candles. They are not only carbon neutral, but they are more gentle on the environment and body. They are anti-inflammatory and they remove pollutants, allergens, and odors. So we've kind of developed a, an economic system where we go from recycling the collected materials um, transform them and reuse them. So cyclical economy. Our net profits, um, 2020 is kind of in a slow year for us due to COVID. However, we've um, really um, gotten the business started up. We've been able to create our business model and start pushing our products to customers. So currently customers, um, are increasingly purchasing candles. There are, um, there's more interest in self-care products right now. There's an increased awareness and benefits of self-care, which is why we decided to develop these candles and why we believe that this trend of, um, of consumer behavior will continue. So next steps is really finalizing the creation of our new products because this has not, we have not begun creating them in large volumes and large capacity yet. Um, we are looking for a long time supplier, sustainable packaging, and we are looking into demographics and marketing. Um, our next project is called Flourish and our other co-president Abdullah will be speaking about that. We would like to introduce ourselves as an Actus Guelph, a student-run organization driven to bringing our campus's commitment to sustainability and food science to the masses. This year, we have worked tremendously as a team to evolve our four-year-old Flourish spent grain product in an ever-changing society, and we look forward to telling you more about it today. Every year, 39 million tons of spent grain waste are produced from the beer brewing process. That's the equivalent of the weight of 300 CN Tower buildings. Being the fifth most produced beverage in the world, it's easy to see how much of an impact this process can have on our environment. In our day and age, consumers are putting more pressure on companies to act sustainably and offer them sustainable products. Diverting some of this spent grain waste can bring the market one step closer to fulfilling consumers' needs. 
the spent grain composting process requires a lot of resources due to the chemical characterization of brewer's spent grain. Because of this, more and more spent grain is being caught up in our landfills, so we were driven to do something about this. I would like to introduce you to Flourish and tell you why you should welcome this healthy and sustainable product to your kitchen. Flourish aims to create food for the future by repurposing spent grain waste from the beer brewing process to provide you with a highly nutritious flour alternative. As a team, we source wet spent grain in its wet form from Wellington Brewery, a local Guelph brewing company, offering them the benefit of not having to go through the composting process. Then we package the spent grain in its wet form in recycled glass jars for consumers to bring home into their kitchens. By offering a product that eliminates food waste while being packaged sustainably, we are empowering consumers to participate in the change they seek. Flourish also has other benefits to offer. While being an incredibly sustainable zero waste marvel, Flourish also provides nearly double the protein content and seven times the fiber content of whole wheat flour. All of these characteristics make Flourish an excellent alternative for the typical heavily processed flour products that many Canadians have in their pantry. Amid the COVID-19 pandemic, our interactions with local breweries fell due to their reduced production rates. We fought these difficulties and developed an amicable relationship with Wellington Brewery. In the future, we hope to not only continue sourcing our spent grain from them, but also begin selling our product in their facilities once they are open in full force. We are also looking to selling our product in health food retailers with aims to directly reach our target market. At the moment, we are reaching directly to our target base through social media. Upon sharing our product through our Instagram, we instantly received five orders and sold out of the spent grain we had remaining. Ensuring contactless deliveries amid the pandemic, we are currently so sourcing more of our ingredient in order to fulfill demand. Having learned so much through our journey with Flourish, one of our goals is to continue to empower our consumers through education. We are gathering content to share the benefits of Flourish and providing inspiration through recipes posted on our channels. In the future, we also plan on producing baked goods with our own spent grain in an industrial grade kitchen. Another key partner is our very own Guelph community. We are asking for glass jar donations from our followers and the surrounding community to sustainably package our spent grain. By arranging contactless pickup for the jars, we have reduced the wasteful material from production. We are very proud of the resourcefulness we have displayed as a team this semester. Through teamwork and with the help of others, we were able to completely pivot our project to produce a product that was more suitable for today's market. With a $2,500 grant from Scotiabank, we were also connected with a project advisor who provided us with excellent insight and we were able to fully revamp our overall business plan, putting more of a focus on the four Ps, product, place, price, and promotion. These actions will have a lasting impact on our Enactus chapter and even our other projects as we make a constant effort to pass knowledge throughout the team. In the future, we plan on using industrially certified kitchens to produce our baked goods suitable to be sold to the public. We've also made an effort this year to utilize on-campus resources such as the John F. Wood Entrepreneurship Center at the University of Guelph to promote our products and to inspire others to learn more about our entrepreneurial initiatives. With a passion for sustainability and food science, we were driven to move our product in a direction that aligned with the world caught in a pandemic. Through teamwork, we have achieved what initially seemed daunting and are looking forward to what the future holds for Flourish. Despite the difficulties we faced as a local committee of an active squelf this year, we were still able to make a meaningful impact not only on ourselves as a local committee and our team members, but also on our local community experiencing a pandemic. We made it our intention to explore ways to make sure that we're listening to our local community of Guelph as well as the surrounding areas and to learn about what they needed and what they were desiring during the pandemic. And using this knowledge to produce products that were not only sustainable, but also driven towards using our entrepreneurial skills to make a positive impact on our community. Thank you.